Hi guys, this is Tekken57 and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to add renders to wrestlers which you've added to the game into slots which were not originally in the game. A uh, big thank you to Hanley's Framer for uh, discovering how to add renders to the game and for posting a detailed tutorial on Smack Talks. All right, the tools that you will need in order to do this is uh, firstly you'll need an Xpacker, secondly you'll need a hex editor I use HXD which is a free hex editor and uh, you will need a graphics editing program which you can save your renders in. I use uh, Photoshop to do this. Alright so the first thing you will need to do is uh, you will need to create a file which will, uh, which will store in the name of your render and then the second thing you will need to do is actually create your render. So in order to create the name of the a render. I'm going to use uh, HXD, which is a free hex editor. I'm going to go File New, and I'm going to create a name uh, for the render which I'm going to add to the game. Um, you can name this whatever you want. Uh, I normally uh, give it the same name as a wrestler whose render this is. So in this instance, I'm going to be adding a render for Sabu. So I'm going to name it Sabu. Uh, sorry. Make sure you have your cursor on the right hand side, not on the actual uh, hex values uh, section of the hex editor. And I'm going to type sabu.ds. Uh, after you do this, hit the space bar. And you'll notice that it adds the value of 20 on the hex side, which is uh, the value for space. Change this value of 20 to uh, 0a. Uh, you need to do this, otherwise the game will not read the file name and will not uh, display the uh, render in game. I'm going to save this as file, save as, and I'm going to name it as 0000.pack. Alright, now that we have the name of the render uh, created, um, you need to create the render. Um, to save time for this tutorial, I've already created the render. Uh, but I'm just going to load the render into Photoshop and show you the format that I'm going to save it as. So I'm going to hit File, Save As. Alright, I'm going to select uh, DDS, which is the NVIDIA DDS plugin. I'm going to hit Save. Alright, uh, now it's going to ask you for the format in which you want to save the DDS file as. The uh, original renders in the game are saved in DDX10 format uh, with alpha, which is for transparency. However, you can also save the render in DXT5 uh, with, with alpha, uh, and the game will display the renders fine. So I'm going to choose to go with uh, DXT5 because it's a bit easier to save it in this format. Alright, um, it has no map maps. And I'm going to hit save. Alright, so we have our name of our render created and we have the render created. And the render should be named uh, 0001. Alright, now that we have both the files created, we need to create uh, a pack edge file in which to hold these, uh, these two files. So I'm going to go into XPacker. I'm going to hit Ctrl plus P. And I'm going to select uh, both the files to be added. All right, I'm going to select uh, the name of the render as well as the render. Okay, and I'm going to click on Create Pack File. All right, I'm, you can call this file whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Sabu Render Type A. All right. So note that the game uses two files for the renders. The first is the type A, um, which is the render which is displayed on the matchup screen. And also it uses type B, which is the render which is displayed uh, when selecting the wrestler. Uh, you'll notice that the, the dimensions of both these DDS files are the same, which is 1024 by 1024. But uh, the type B uh, render is slightly smaller in terms of the picture itself uh, than the type A renders. All right, now that I have this created, we need to inject this file into a pack file to put into the game. Now, um, 
the easiest way in which to uh, create a pack file is to use one of the uh, pack files from the uh, older uh, WW series of games. Um, 2K16 or 2K15 will do. Or you can use the uh, server render which I've created uh, in this tutorial, which I will be linking as well. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to be using uh, Rick Flair's 2K16 pack file, uh, which is um, CH130004. Um, okay, so you can name this uh, pack file anything you want. I'm just going to call it uh, type a underscore sabu. All right. Now, as soon as you've uh, renamed this file, um, you can open this up in uh, a hex editor like uh, HXD. Uh, you'll notice that the head of the file is EPK8, which is very important. Uh, if you scroll down a bit, uh, you will notice that um, it has a, a listing for which directory uh, the files would go into. In this instance, um, the directory which is listed is EMD. All right, so we need to change this directory because EMD is the directory in which the wrestler packs are stored, uh, and the directory in which the renders are stored is LTSA. So whilst you're on the right hand side of the hex editor, um, type in LTSA in capital letters and hit save. All right. So your pack file has now been created and we are ready to inject the package file which we created a bit earlier on, which contains the name of the render and the render. All right, so I'm gonna open up this uh, pack file in uh, Xpacker. I'm gonna use the Control plus Q key and I'm gonna open up the type A sabu pack file. You'll notice right away that the file name is 00013004, which is uh, the naming that was given to Rick Flair's pack file previously. All right, so now we need to change this uh, name to correspond to uh, a name in which the game will detect the render and allocate the render to the correct slot. So uh, first thing we'll do is, before we do that, we'll inject uh, the package file that we created earlier on, which is a sub render type APAC file. All right, now we need to get the name so click on utilities generate a menu name all right so what this does is it computes a md5 hash for the name and uh, the program will split out the actual name that you need to utilize uh, for the pack file to be detected as as a menu pack file all right so first thing is do not copy and paste any values into the first box because uh, this normally causes an issue with generating the md5 hash so it's best to actually use one of the values which I've listed in the drop-down box. I've given you a few templates. So you can see I've done a generic one for any WW game. I've done uh, four for the uh, WW uh, 2K19 game as well. Uh, you'll notice that some of the uh, menus have underscore P30 in front of the name. Um, this is because these renders were added as DLC. Each of the DLC uh, packs um, is uh, underscore P10, P20, P30, depending on which DLC pack it is, etc. You can either go with the DLC notation or you can go with the uh, generic menu notation. I'm going to go with the underscore P30 because this usually works for me. So I'm going to select um, <clears throat> type A underscore P30. All right, now the three Zs at the end uh, needs to be replaced with your uh, wrestler pack number so it depends on which slot you have added this wrestler into so I've added Sabu into slot 493 so I'm going to change this 3Zs to 493 all right then you're going to hit the calculate button when you hit the calculate button uh, a name is generated for the uh, menu and you also have uh, MD5 value. The MD5 value is not required. I've just put it there for information purposes. All right, you click on copy menu name. So this will copy the value that's in this text box and you can close this window. All right, now we are back at the package file which we created earlier. So I'm gonna right click this, this name and uh, you are now prompted to enter an, a new name for the package file. 
So I'm just going to paste the value which we generated using the uh, MD5 hash. And I'm going to click OK. All right, so now we have uh, the package file created with the correct name. So now you can copy this uh, sabu render type A into your uh, pack menu win assets WW19 underscore single read texture SS face directory. So I've already prepared uh, type A and type B just to save time. So I'm just going to copy these into the directory. All right, so now because we've added new files to the game, you need, you need to create a new dev file so that these files will be loaded into the game. So I'm going to go back into Xpacker and I'm going to click on Utilities, create 2K18 or 2K19 dev file and select the pack directory. And then thereafter, I'm going to save it in the WW2K19 directory. All right, so this is now updated the dev file so that the game will now load the two additional um, uh, menu pack files that we've added. All right, so once you've done this, you can you can run the game, and the game will display renders for the wrestlers which you've added to the game. Um, so that's about it. If you have any questions, please post in the comments below. And um, I hope this tutorial was very helpful to you. Uh, best wishes until next time. Take care.